Hello. In this tutorial video, you'll learn the basics of how to use the Sortie GUI. So I already have the Sortie GUI open here. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to set your working directory. So we're going to navigate over to File and then down to Set Working Directory. And here you can set it to wh whatever file that you want to be working in. Next, I'm going to show you how to open a parameter file. So again, we just navigate over to File, down to Open File. And first, I'm going to show you a base parameter file. So to take a look at what's inside that parameter file, we're going to go into Edit, Model Settings. And here you can see a list of all of the behaviors that are included in this parameter file. But let's go into the tree population. And so here, um, we know that it's a base parameter file because all of our initial densities are just um, filled in with dummy variables. They're just filled in with ones as a placeholder. Um, so using R sortie or using the GUI, we're going to replace all, we would replace all of these values. All right, and then let's open up another parameter file with the new values already loaded. So again, we're just going to go into Edit, Model Settings, and let's take a look at that tree population again. So here we can see that they're no longer filled with ones. They're actually filled with um, actual densities as well as zeros if there's no trees there. We can also take a look at the plot settings. Um, for example, here's the number of time steps, or you can change your plot size. And to change any of these values, you just have to click on the square. You can type whatever you want, um, and, and then that will save it. All right, um, so once you have opened your file, um, it's kind of loaded into Sortie. And then to run the, um, the parameter file, to run a simulation, all you have to do is press the Play button. Um, it doesn't show you the steps as it's going, but it'll notify you once the run is finished. I'm not going to do that here because it'll take too long for the video. So I'm just going to open up an output file. So again, we go over to File, Open Output File. And two output files are generated when you do a sortie run. Um, the first one is a output summary, um, which contains less information. And the second one is a detailed output, um, which has more information. So we're going to open this one. All right, so I can see that it is opened here. And then we can take a look at some of the results. So we can look at some line graphs. Um, the black line is the totals of all the species added together. So you have the option to remove that to get a better look at all the other species. We can look at some histograms. For example, a DBH histogram. There's tables you can look at. Um, and then there's also a map. And so here, each one of these dots represents a tree. Um, and they're indicated with little circles. And the circle um, is actually relative to the size of the tree. Um, so down here, you can have the controls to walk through step by step. Um, so this is time step zero. So if we just hit this button, it'll go to time step one, and we'll see that a harvest happened. So I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to make the trees a little bit bigger so we can kind of see what's going on. And then you can keep walking through step by step, but I'm actually just going to jump to the last time step where we can see the forest change a little bit, and there's new trees that are popping up within the clear cut. So those are some ways you can play around with the Sortie GUI. Um, I hope this video is helpful.